Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys already know what time it is. It's reaction time, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what are we reacting to today, brother? X-Men 97, Season 1, Episode 5. Remember it. You better remember it. Yes. Hey, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. I'm hyped. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. <laughs> like, you guys don't understand. To come every week and be excited is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. It's also rare in this time. And especially when you know we're at episode five. And on J3 Entertainment, we have a five-episode rule. And we're at the crossroads right now. That's true. Because we've been burned so many times. You yeah. got to put that, that fence up. Yeah. It, my, my fence got barbed wires, bricks, electrical sensors like on Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mine got jumper cables on the fence. You know so, what I mean? Right. I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to jump over that. But, but anyway... I got a dinosaur walking back and forth, a velociraptor. Oh, like, man. I got a wall up. And I got a key. And if this yeah. if this does it, we in a relationship now. Me and X-Men 97, it's going to be special. This is, a, this, is, this is one of the episodes, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I guess. There we go. That's all I can say. All right. Hey. Yeah. Um... For me, I will say this is uh, definitely better than I better than I was expecting going in. Yeah. Um, I from the first episode, it's been to the races, so you know how it is, bro. Let's do this. All right, y'all gentlemen, ready? Yeah. All right, let's get these headphones on. You guys ready? Oh yeah. yeah. Man. See you at the crossroad. <laughs> y'all ready? <laughs> I'm ready, bro. All right, I'm gonna start this thing <laughs> right now. And I'm gonna miss everybody. Breathing. All right. <laughs> on Mr. Sinister, you are your son, Nathan. A page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? Damn. I'm here for you, Gambit. Right. Still hidden. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else they added in here. Right. Man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. We about to get Apocalypse, baby. That's all. The, uh, yeah, that's all new right there. Oh, oh. Nightcrawler! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Jerry gonna be excited. Man, Kurt Wagner, Excalibur. Okay, okay. Who's here. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. <laughs> Blue blushes too, my dear. <laughs> <sighs> this is taking forever. Gambit, please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <sighs> Can it, you rooster? Savage. Look your head. He yeah. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Tight. Hmm. I saw Gert. I was on uh, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, Zoe Kravitz play. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, first class, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Pixie or something. Yeah, like that. Pixie. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see Darwin here somewhere. My friends. Well, would you look at you, girl? A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored top bot among Genosha's brass. The interim Tight. council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Magneto, the interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. Privately, if possible. Hmm. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> yeah! Nice. <laughs> bird on a lot Hell yeah. Wire. Yes! Wagner, how the heck Yo. are you, furball? Meine Freunde! We shall play tourist as the council speaks with Magneto. Bert joined the council to I help like the design. with various communities of faith. Oh, a scimitar tongue, Gambit. You remain as always. We have much to discuss since our gothic adventure amid the Alps. Come! Tight, right? Wow. <laughs> it's just like he said it'd it be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Damn. Always Ooh. used to say we'd have a place all our own. Well, I can't help but ruin honey. Well, maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. Mm -hmm. I sense it too. Right? A man named Gambit. No mm -hmm. poker face. Is that very poor? poor? It does not take a priest to see you and Bob's souls touch in every gaze. Ain't the touch she be looking for. Damn. Man. 
I'm here with Scott Summers, also known as Cyclops. So I have to ask, when did you know she was the one? Damn. Right? You're skipping the questions, too. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. Even reacquainting myself with my psychic powers feels strange. Like the face of an old friend seen from every angle but the one in your memory. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years, and you know it. <laughs> I asked Scott to go on a picnic at sunset. She seemed nervous when I asked her to go out, like she didn't trust me. He was scared, mm. afraid the phoenix had changed me. I wanted to show her that nothing had changed. She was still the hothead who knocked my books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. But I could already feel the universe speaking to me, much like Scott used to, through our special psychic rapport. She snaps at me, and then she takes off my ruby glasses, which hold back my powers. I needed to anchor myself because every fiber of me hungered to leave and travel the cosmos right then. And nothing happened. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. We could Damn. see each other's eyes. They anchored me, focused me. His eyes made me stay. Now. I know all about drowning in memories. Best to look up and keep paddling. Keep moving. Because the past will yank you under if you don't. Forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. <laughs> I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. Damn! You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Now go talk to that overgrown boy scout. Dang. When she touched him and she saw what he felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jean and I don't have any kids. You don't? No. Strange. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to Scott and Jean Grey Summers, just last month. Born at Westchester Memorial. Uh, I spoke to a Dr. Bryan's there. He said you told your teammate to hold Rogue. That jerk wouldn't deliver my... He called my kid a freak. Damn. Scott, I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. People. Normal. And you lie. Why lie? Because you're normal. Excuse me? I said because you're normal. You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Evil mutants, robots, crazy aliens. Yeah. I gave him up. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Damn. Ooh. Hope that wasn't lying, Scott. <laughs> to knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation, Rogue. <laughs> me, mutant kind's fiercest defender, and you, Damn. an X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. This was Xavier's design. It is why he gave me his X-Men, a final chance to uphold the promise <laughs> we made to one another so long ago. But I need help. You take me for a fool, acting like this is all about you and the professor. I won't deny my passion for you. As with Gambit, loving you damn. makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. God Ooh. damn! We would be lucky. She got the ill na na. Yeah. For right. real. Lead. I can't believe I lost it like that. There like that. Oh, Scott. Anger this is normal, real. even for mutants. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to let go. There are some things worth holding on to. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. I see him everywhere. In every face on every street. So clearly. I can't see color. But up here, I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. It reminds me of... Of us. <sighs> mm. Don't tell me! You can explain! Jesus! If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss what Bryant? The? Ooh. Sorry. Mine just drifted a moment. Mine drift indeed. Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop it. Let me explain, please. Explain what? I know what I saw. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? A month, maybe. I, I was checking in at Mind our overseas, uh -oh. but we ended go, up... Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. Oh, dear. <laughs> what you saw on the astral plane was confusion, Jean. Grief. 
She's the mother of my son. That's the one thing I can be certain about right now. Do you love her? I love both of you. Whole galaxies beckoned me, but I turned my back for you. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. The music's changing and you need a chair. Leader, father, husband. And you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. Remember or feel? Choose, Gene. Do not Ooh. spin this on me. Do you love me, Gene? Or am I just a lovely memory? Damn. Oh. Gene, what is it? Mm, mm, mm. My heart goes out to my boy right now. Yeah. Uh, hey there. Wasn't expecting a lady call. What's wrong, Shia? You best sit down. It was back after I ran away from my daddy. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. An associate. The man seemed nice enough. Seemed to want to help. Just not like I thought. He even had plans to Remy, mutant art, fashion, dance. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't Damn, just about what a player. my power. I didn't know you had an in him. Right? Them X-Men movies gave him no justice. Not at all. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. But then I started seeing the hurt in him, like raging waters when i joined the x-men eric said he wouldn't want me to lose another family he acted like it never happened damn you gonna accept his offer if genosha's shown us anything it's that we don't need to be afraid of change and if i can play a bigger role and better in the world that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. You never wanted to make things official. I respect. I played the Swamp Rat. And I played your share. All the expectations. Every time, looking at you, seeing all the things I couldn't do. Like telling Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. You, you light up everything you touch, but never me. Oh, my God. Mm. Something's a bit deeper than skin, Shia. Not this. See? I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Gambit always knows the odds. That it? In this game, he do. Till then, we be friends, mon ami. Just friends. Mm. Man, what is this? The Heartbreak Saga? Right? Oh, snap. You saw him? No. Missed him. The Watcher. Really? That was The Watcher. Oh, oh my God. He was crying, too. Sad. Dang. Assemble the council. We need to talk. I think that's mistake, y'all. Mm -hmm. As it is with all UN nations. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. If it eases your mind, Magneto accepted only on the condition that we ask one of the X-Men to govern with him. Rogue. What did she say? See? Mm -hmm. That's mistake. Yep. Hey. Yeah, that's mistake. Dang. I'm about to cry, y'all. Man. Archangel there and everything. Mm -hmm. Celebration. What the? Mm-hmm. Damn. What is it? Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Man. What's happening? Turn it off. The music. Cable. Get everybody yeah. out. Cable. Yeah. <laughs> Kill the music. Cable? You have to get everyone out. Now. He's coming. Who's coming? I Cable, what's going on? Bodies lying. One. No. no. Not again. You made it. Woo! You survived. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mom. Oh, oh, my God. Sorry for what? That's what. Ooh. 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 What an 
Oh. Master mode? Looks like it. Master oh, mode. Get to the gardens. Hurry. Oh. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> hey, taking the powers. Oh, he gone. Rogue. Remy. Gambit. How many? Too many. Some vile Godzilla sentinel. You go at it, you end up dead. A promise was made. Oh, man. Hurry! Almost to the gardens. It's vaporizing them. Yep. I draw its fire away from the gardens. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. <laughs> Damn. Never much care for roulette. <laughs> what? Oh. Let's go! Right? Woo! Uh. My boy! Damn. Turn that thing into Benzino. <laughs> 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 Oh snap. They shall be a Oh damn. There he is. There he is. Don't worry. Leech knows Callisto will find us. If not her, Magneto. He promised oh, Leech would never be scared again. The Axemen are no friends to the Morlocks. Mutants located. Uh... Nah, nah, baby, let's right. go! Right! right. <laughs> bon soirée, mes amis. Now kindly follow me. <laughs> Justice. Justice, y'all. Did it say it was mega threat to pick? What are you doing, Rope? Don't you dare, Eric! You hear me? He's trying to protect us, Rope! Gambit, baby. Dang. Gambit, see your bet. Was that the crazy? I think so. Looked like him. That's why he's part of X Men, baby. Oh. oh. Oh my God. No. Stop it. Stop it. Uh-uh. The name's Gambit. On a me. Remember it. At what cost? They don't like me, y'all. Nobody likes me. How many? How many, damn it? To reiterate for those just returning to us. Regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see may be disturbing. I gotta get Bishop to come back to stop it. Dang. Sugar. I, I can't feel you. <laughs> they hate me, y'all. They hate me, y'all. I can't win for nothing. Man, some old bullshit, man. 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 Why all my characters? They the coldest ones. I have no clue. Take them out every time. 
Take him out every time. I should have known this was going to happen when I was a little kid, man. Damn. When Raph was on the rooftop. I knew it. Right there. Oh, it just took you back to that? Took yeah. me right back there. Raph, the only one knocked out. Coma. About Damn. to die. How you expect to beat me? Good answer. Good, <laughs> Good answer. God damn. Oh, my God. Every character I love. Wow. Red Ranger come. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you, we, we're afraid. Goat Rangers, all that. Yeah, we got cool. Then it replaced him with Rocky. I can't win. Gambit is my boy. And y'all saw what he brought to the table. Mm -hmm. I know that. But luckily, future exists and stuff So in the past. So I expect Cable and, yeah. and Bishop to come back and fix it. But it hurts me. He, uh, but my boy went out like a G. He brought some leadership to this episode a lot. Uh, they, he... And it's crazy because he, you know, the earlier shows and stuff, it was like team effort. Like they, they really put him front and center in this episode. It was a lot of, a lot of heartbreak in this episode, but you saw a lot of skill on display and a lot of strategy on display with Gambit. So I do commend that. And, uh, I do agree on the whole aspects of like time travel. Things can occur and come yeah, back and yeah. things like that. So yeah. I'm not too worried about that. Bishop and Cable are here. So, you know. Yeah, but it, it it sucks to see. No, right? I, I'm with you. That's but your I, character. I, I get you it. You feel me? I get you. But I you guys you. realize. That's your character. And you have acknowledged why Gambit's that dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now you now you see why yeah. why people like Gambit. A lot of people underestimate him. They think all he does is, is throw cards and make the cards nah. explode. And you just saw what Gambit was really capable <laughs> he of. He took that whole robot down. Right? Magneto couldn't stop Skills. him. Yeah. Gambit Gambit's did it. Gambit is an Omega-level mutant. And purpose and purposefully limits his power. No, you don't purposely. They just don't know how to write him, because he's always been like that. He's always been like that. Yeah. You got you got some. You have on the X Men squad. You got Cyclops, Storm, Wolverine, Gambit, Jean, Rogue, and then you have the. I guess you can call it. Excuse me, like the, the 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 one they just switch out a lot. Okay. You know, you got yeah. they, they, they always switch somebody out. But those six, y'all, mm -hmm. are a problem. I mean, correct. Like, like, like Gambit just showed you. Yo, yo, this guy, <laughs> just one touch from him. This movie, yeah. this episode should have been called The Touch. Like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but did Gambit not have his, have his power limited? Like, he had, like, some type of procedure that limited his power? Because he couldn't really control it all? No, he just didn't want to blow up the world. He could throw a car if he wanted to. Yeah, like, Gambit, right? Because I, 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 I love that they showed his power. I hate that he went out. Like, he went out, he went out like a G, but I hate that he went out. <laughs> they do it every time like that to me. But you know what? At least it lets y'all know why I rose with my boy Gambit. Let me say it better. Why I fucks with Gambit. There you go. It's my there, boy, There man. you go. <laughs> I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all, and y'all better, if y'all going to cast for Gambit, you better cast a right actor. Don't be giving me no, what's his name, Channing Tatum? Yeah. yeah. Don't be giving me no Channing Tatum. No. You need to get a real G, and that's for real. And I don't want to see no Terrence Howard. You see his new haircut? <laughs> no. <laughs> man, dog. <laughs> you finally got rid of the fade? Man, he got a whole, like he in 1970 or something. That's funny. But anyway, oh, yeah, man, episode... Phenomenal, man. Remember it, yeah. Uh, we're at the crossroad, man. Yeah. This it, is probably one of the best uh, cartoon series of this era. This is in there. It's 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 tier one, man. This is a five star show right now, yo. The shout storytelling. Out, um, shout out to Cable One for Nightcrawler coming in this episode, uh, making that little appearance. Archangel was there too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like I was like I saw Archangel. I saw Nightcrawler. I was looking for uh, I was looking for Iceman to pop up next. Like who else is here? Because yeah, I because yeah. I could have swore I saw Boom Boom in here too, uh, okay. in the beginning of the episode. I saw, we where they saw Dazzler where she was she was in the theory, in the part. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I yeah. I could have sworn Boom Boom was one of them was one of the girls that was in there that was uh, linked up. Not the party at the very beginning of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay had asked a question yeah. earlier during the reaction about uh, was that uh the creator of the Sentinels? I think we had saw. No, that. no, no. The creator of this show. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. The creator of the show, oh. the one they kicked off, mm. he snuck his ass back in here. That was him huh. on the rooftop. Okay. 
and they showed the watcher. Yeah, I gotta. Man, I gotta rewatch yeah. this because I. Yeah, yeah oh, that oh. was him, man. I know that face. Okay. Mm. Huh. Oh, the Snuck showrunner. In, showrunner. Got yeah, you. okay. Snuck yeah, in the episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, uh, I, I, I was like, yo. That's crazy. Great episode. Great episode. Um, man. Couldn't ask for more. I'm glad at least, even though my boy Gam is gone for now, at least you guys are able to see the powers of Gambit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What more can you ask for? At least you're able to see the powers of Gambit, y'all. Yeah. Y'all got a chance to see Cyclops first episode. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all got Thank to see, you. Y'all got to see uh, Storm. Storm. Y'all saw her power. You just saw what Magneto can do. Yeah. We always know he's a Omega mm-hmm. level, but you got a chance to see it. Um, you got a chance to see Morph and his epicness. Like, this is why I think people get confused when we talk about these X-Men movies and there's a passion level to it when you see the shows or the movies not doing them correctly. And you guys have to remember, when you read this stuff as, as, as when you're a kid or even grown up and you read it and you know what they could bring to the table and then you see them on screen and they're like not even half. We talking 25%. That could piss it's anybody that. off. That, that would piss you off. That's like... It's kind of like how they did Black Panther in his own movie. Like, yeah. he wasn't even, like, a fraction of what he could do. Like, he's smart as hell. Mm-hmm. He they knows every away. technique plus some. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And That and was not get, the same dude in Civil War. People get <laughs> irritated and be like, well, you guys, it's just a movie. Nah. This is the first introduction. This guy has to be on point. Like, Iron Man. Like, you got to show certain things. And I'm glad, at least animated-wise, we're able to see Gambit, dude. Man, mm-hmm. I was probably when people always use that as just a movie terminology when they don't know. Yeah. It's always Man. Like, it's, like a, it's a cop out. It, it really is. It, it, it's it's like really just, like it's really so this them trying know. to say yeah. I'm saying, well, I don't want to have this conversation. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> but that right. was a hell of an episode. Whoa, yeah. I'm gonna watch that again. I'm gonna have to too. And I, and you know my so kids. So much drama in this episode. I mean out of it. Like they get, they gave, and we were talking about just power to stuff, but they gave every character every mutant their screen time. Mm-hmm. Like everybody has something to do, and everybody has something that they were grieving, grieving from. You saw a lot of memories mm-hmm. from the past mm-hmm. coming into play, messing with what was this reality, what was going on. So you notice how they really went savage mode when their emotions came into play. Yeah. Like, oh man, you, that's what you don't want. So mm-hmm. it was that was interesting. I like how they handled that too. Yep, yeah. and uh, shout out my girl Ro for for finally realize for for seeing. Remy situ- seeing the situation with Remy and be like, nah, he was right. Like he was, he was right. It's it's more than skin. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I know. I was just playing. I was just playing. He saw her dancing, tiptoeing uh, yeah. in the air and junk, he kissing he on Eric and yeah. junk in the yeah. air by mm. by that in the air. Mm. They was came clowning. with a dress she ain't never wore in her life. Right. Right. They was clowning in front of Gambit. They was clowning. Yeah, they was trying. They, they, they was, was trying. They was clowning. Everybody looking at Gambit like, man. Gambit, Gambit walked up out so of there. So that's what love is. Like, they're just all up here, like just doing it. Shout all out about. to yeah. her finding real life. He dead now. <laughs> yeah, he dead now. <laughs> man, she was like, no, Gambit was right. <laughs> Magneto made her uh, feel something though, bro. Yeah. 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 So man, she we all know you made her feel something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. She was like, I White can't touch be that you. tight. He was over there doing paintings and poetry and junk. Right? Yeah. It was everything she was quote, quoting about. Shakespeare. <laughs> the X-Men so movies do want. him no justice. Right. No, I'm, I'm sorry. What's the old boy name? Uh it's Sir Ian McKellen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. No Charles. justice. Get they, him out of there, bro. <laughs> they they <laughs> recast. You, it's okay. You need to go. You must do it. They they knocked off. They Girl, knocked off Gambit so Rogue wouldn't feel bad when she moved on with Magneto. That's what yeah. they did. Well, Magneto gone for now. But his magnetic force going to bring him yeah. back. Yeah, unless he under the rubble. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's know. gone, bro. Oh, it's so they both gone. Magneto, his magnetic, mm-hmm. magnetic uh, mm-hmm. uh, for, power is going to bring him back. I was going to say, uh, basically, uh, that's one of the key things that they need to focus on. Like, if they're going to do movies going forward, man, they got to get the team factor right and the power sets. They always are inconsistent with the power sets, but they never really showed them unified as a team, I felt. Yeah, you got to get... That's what they always got wrong. You got to get a... That was the most important. You got to get a director that understands teams. Yeah. yeah. So you got to get someone like Justin Lin. Woo! Come in and do that. He's really good at teams. And, there you and, go. and giving everybody to shine. And I really I really understood that in Star Trek 3. Beyond? Yes. He was able to break them all down. Because yeah. when you grew up on Star Trek, like I did, in the early age, we're talking about the uh, 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 Leonard Nimoy and uh, uh, what's, what's uh, Captain Kirk? Uh, uh, William Shatner. Uh, William Shatner. William Shatner. When, you, when you, you see the way they're on the show, you have episodes, episodes, episodes to really break them down and you understand who they are. But when you have a movie, it's very little bit of time. He was able to give you so much in those movies 
and uh, in that movie in part three, that was like, okay, I rose with this. I like yeah. it. Justin Lin is really good with teams. You need a director like that for the X-Men movie. Not nobody, nobody that just started doing music videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to figure out life. No new projects. Nah. Just pay the man his money that he mm -hmm. asked for so he can give you a, a, a home run. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the scene with... That's why we messed up with Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I, I've never even played a video game before. Damn. Oh, get out of here. Um the scene with Gene and Scott, the argument scene. Why he wasn't like, I thought she was you for years. It's an old habit. <laughs> the mind thing was our thing. But I thought well, she know, was you. Scott gonna speak his mind though. Yeah. yeah. This is what it, he's starting. That's that's what my boy is. He's yeah. always like that. Yeah. Yeah. So right. He knew the fact that no matter what he said, Jim's gonna come down. Mm-hmm. No, that she's conflicted, bro. Yeah, she's, yeah conflicted. she's conflicted. And that she, was because of herself. Yeah. I, I think honestly, it's kind of like a, a, a. I think Jean has always had a thing for Logan. Yeah. Yeah. It's been there. She's all because Logan and Scott are, they, they have a common goal, but they're totally different. Mm -hmm. Scott is a Boy Scout. Wolverine's rough on the edges. Yeah. Wolverine's a bad boy. Mm -hmm. Scott's not. Now, both of them can get down though. Yeah. Right. Just have different ways of doing it. They're men. And Gene, growing up with Scott, I guess you could say they had a brother-sister relationship in the beginning that became something more. And more of a... Like, I think Scott pursued Gene and showed her that they could be more than that. Mm -hmm. But she's always had an eye for logan and i think when the last two episodes ago part episode three when she touched him and she saw his memories and how he felt mm -hmm. they kind of matched each other like she feels it too but it's weird like love yeah. is a crazy thing man especially when you're a teen you know what i'm saying so that's a very strange thing um to encounter and i feel for gene right now more than than Scott because to her she should have been like she's like you should have known that wasn't me like my habits were different my right. memories might be the same but the way they way the, they act the way I act wasn't the same and you didn't realize it but Logan kind of low key did yeah even though she smelt the same he could sense she was a little different and that's the crazy thing about it and I think she she I don't know if she uh uh she read his mind and he was like, hey, more of you, she ain't looking the same. You know, I don't know, but that's that's where I feel like it's going to be uh, intertwined. Mm -hmm. And I know that Logan Logan's a, a stand-up guy, y'all, because he could have took advantage of her mm -hmm. in her state of mind where she's like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, leave. And I mean it as far as convincing her to leave Scott. Yeah. Taking that advantage of someone because people do that kind of stuff. And Logan's like, nah, go back to your husband. Mm -hmm. Fix what y'all have to fix. If it's for us to be down the line, let it be a natural, organic way, not out of this pain and, and confusion. And I and I, I shout out to Logan for that. Wolverine, man, you're a champ for that one. Now, uh, moving forward, we got to get a Wolverine scene because him and Beast have been kind of like uh, quiet. A background. Um, yeah. Because yeah. you showed us. You Everybody else had their had moment to shine. So Only way to the top right now, y'all. Like, so I'm going to bet on Beast then. Yeah. Beast? Oh, Let's dear. See what the scientists are doing. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh. Cyclops going off on a reporter though. What y'all think? It's about his son, man. He's he's going yeah. through something. Like she was like she was pressing. He was like, look, <laughs> he told her something. Leave yeah, it alone. Be alive. Leave mm -hmm. us alone. Leave it leave it alone. And she <laughs> that like was great. I think she could tell he didn't want to talk about it and she's pressed it anyway. Yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> trying to get him to do something with his power, you know, trying yeah. to push him over the edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's what reporters do. But uh before we get up out of here, I got a question to ask y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh if you could be an X-Men or in the X-Men universe, a mutant, let's say a mutant that we all know of, uh, which mutant would you be? And I mean that as far as not your favorite, just psychologically where your mind stands, who you are personality wise in those characters, who do you think you will fit? And y'all can play along too. Put in the comments down below. Let us know. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe Nightcrawler, maybe, bro. You think you're Nightcrawler guy? A little bit, yeah. Just explain. Just saw uh, his his beliefs. He's very high on his beliefs. He believes in good and evil. He's very like spiritual. You know, he's on that tip. Like he's a peacekeeper, but you know, he'll fight it when he has to. 
Mm. Yeah. So like his personality traits, I think I would have something that Nightcrawler is a cool character. Okay. Yeah. I, I, something different. I'm my favorite, like you said, but he's a character that I respect and I, I kind of understand him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Morals. What about you, G? Um. So with me, it's 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 a little difficult because I'm. You're a bad guy. No, oh. I, I'm. <laughs> When it comes to X Men, I'm not super knowledgeable on the comics. Most of my X Men knowledge is from the from the shows, the cartoons, and the movies. Okay. So, like me personally, I'm leaning more towards Havoc, but more like he was in X Men Evolution, where he was kind of laid back. Like he had powers, didn't really want to use them. He just wanted to chill, hang out with his friends. Uh, that's that's what I'm kind of seeing right right here, right now. Because, but if huh. you if you set me <laughs> off, I'll use them. If you set me off, I'll use them. Killer. And you'll wish I hadn't. <laughs> but. That's hey. funny. I knew he was gonna do this. <laughs> Havoc. Havoc, man. I like Havoc. No, but it's not what I, you I know, like. It's but I'm, I'm, you fit personality wise. Yeah, I'm you're, chill, bro. You're Omega Red. <laughs> not Omega Red. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not Omega Red. Go villain route. Like I, I, I roll with Nightcrawler. Man, you know that he ain't no sense. Nightcrawler. He a Morlock. Stop it. Mm, no, <laughs> no. Nah, he's more of a Nightcrawler. He's to himself. You know what I mean? He come when he needs. He's always in the shadows. That's that's Ronan. Ronan just be going about his life. You're like, that's a Nightcrawler. Yeah. He do pop in and pop Havoc. out. Havoc. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. True to life. Bro. Not my favorite character, but. I, I say yo, Omega Red. Who you think he be? You a villain. Whoever it's going to be. Yeah. You a villain, bro. Just pick one. I'm not a villain. <laughs> I'm not a villain. I just, all right. You know, you all know right. X-Men villain, so. Can, can, can yeah. we agree on this? Master Mole. Go ahead. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm more laid back. You know, yeah. You're that's Master Mole. Funny. You're a head that sits there and creates Havoc. Are you happy? That's hilarious. <laughs> oh shoot! I'm not that. I'm not that bad of a person. Uh, that's, that's what Master Mo thinks. Master Mo thinks he's doing justice. You're doing good. I'm. I'm more like leave me alone. Don't mess with me, and I won't mess with you. Master Mo. No. He's away, coming, mutants. He's purposely designed you're, you're, to you're, mess you're, with the world. No, you're. You know, mess with mutants because they're polluting, in his belief, the world. I'm not doing that. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh my God, he's. Master Mo, no. watch out for this one, y'all. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. All right. If it was me, who I am personally, um, I don't like to be in charge, but I will take charge. Uh, I like to have fun. And I'm really cool. Uh, but I'm to myself. Uh, very smart. I'll be Hank McCoy. Nah. He just gonna do that because he's he's master mole now, but uh, you're the black king. <laughs> you're Hellfire Club. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> nah, Beast. Yeah. I was either thinking Beast or Morph, but I I, I thought you go was gonna beast. say Morph. Go if you would have said Morph, I wouldn't have said nothing. But you went Beast. I think I, I think <laughs> I have a Hank McCoy thing. I think I can speak for the group. I think I know how to PR. Uh, I believe uh, <laughs> I, I can prep y'all to, to, to a yeah. T. Uh, I, I I am experimental with a lot of things. I can build stuff. I, I can go downstairs. I can work on your cars. I can plumb. I can do uh, 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 what? It's nothing really I can't do. If I put my mind to it, I can do it. Put the trench coat, trench coat on when necessary. You, know what you, you feel me? Like I, I think, <laughs> like all honesty, if 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 being a doctor, mutant. <laughs> if, I said it. Well, regardless, you're you're here to kill mutants. It's one no, and the same. <laughs> but I feel that if I if my household was to push me to become a doctor, I think I would have been a doctor or a lawyer. Wow. That's just if I was pushed in that area, like yo, do this. This would be something. Cause I, I do like helping people and, and I like to like I'm not scrimmish to anything. If that makes sense? Yeah, yeah. No, it makes a lot like, sense. I could watch like I could <laughs> I could see some stuff, I'd be like, oh mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting. You know what I mean? And you know, but I I'll probably be beast man. I, I I'm just gonna be honest I with you. I see that. You know. And I like to walk around naked, so there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, That's the reason. That's the real reason. He's loving his drugs. Just trying to put all these reasons yeah, out there. To, whole, I ain't got to wear, no, ain't right got wear no shoes or nothing, bro. He tried to say all that other stuff. The reason, the real reason was at the oh, end. Wait. Right? Yeah. 
Right. That's why I'm sitting here like, really? Come on. What's the real reason? Man. Hank is the most comfortable meeting of all time. Yep. Comfortable. Yep. Oh, and man. I keep him upside down. There we go. Uh, <laughs> but if you guys disagree with any of us, put in the comments who you believe that we are in our personality on screen, right? No. Master Mode is not a mutant. It's a robot. I <laughs> can't do that. It's, okay. Omega Red. The tentacle dude. Okay. Uh, I don't juggernaut. Know. Which, which one you want? He just don't want to feel out of place. <laughs> Hey, bro. Well, Juggernaut's not a, a, a he's an ex. Juggernaut's not. But a I'm mutant. saying, but, oh, yeah, yeah Juggernaut's not. not a mutant magic. Yep. Um. All right, we gotta find a mutant before we get up out of here. No, oh, we don't. Let's go. No, no, no. No one man should have all that power. Okay, okay. What did you say? Apocalypse. Nah. 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 Well, he's not a mutant, is he? I was gonna say, uh, Gladiator. Uh, is that his name? No, but, yeah, no, nah, it's not you. Are you a servant now? No, that's why I said he. You're he's definitely not, not that. No, uh, you you do you you play by your own rules. That's Mister Sinister. True. Yeah. No, I and mean, and you create. Yeah. 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 That's havoc. Yeah, yeah but I don't yeah. experiment on people. <laughs> you will. <laughs> no, I won't. That's that's too much for me. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, Master Mole. Oh, All right, dude. he's an honorable mention. Mutant. Nah, there we go. I'm good. Uh, well, I'll figure something. I got to read more X-Men comics. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you are a savage. Sabretooth. <laughs> and you cause havoc. Huh. You do have the beard now. Victor Creed. I got to read more more comics, so I got to... I, I'm gonna have an answer eventually. It's settled. <laughs> it's settled. It's not. It's not settled. I picked havoc. <laughs> like y'all said, nah, y'all it's a good pick, bro. Yeah, I'm blue it. and furry. Run it. Why you can't be yellow oh. and furry? <laughs> Don't take away the savage. Ain't blue and furry too. Yeah. We pick some hairy motherfuckers. <laughs> Own it. <laughs> Own it. It is what it is. Life. I'll kill all y'all. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh, I made a device to blow this fool. Oh dear. The kingdom come. <laughs> All right, y'all. This, this is great. I love having fun like this, y'all. Oh, but uh, it's not about us. It's, it's about, about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode. Obviously, you know it hit home. And what a home run. This is some Bay Roof shit right here, y'all. Yeah. God damn. I just watched it go out the park, to the parking lot, down the street, to a drug alley. Keep it yeah. going. Keep it going. Uh, Five stars for me right now. Yeah. Can't, can't, I, 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 I can't wait for next week. Man. Yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, go to press that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also, watch us on Patreon for the full reaction Please. to multiple episodes, including this one. I'm J3. Run the show, guys. Woo! Ninja it's your boy, C. Road to 100,000 subscribers.